up. Yo, guess who fresh out of the shower but had time to take a shower? And got, look, come on. There's not much, but I was allowed to write down something. Shalom, siblings. Hydration station. Shalom, siblings. Shalom, I'm me. What's good, y'all? Hey, y'all, I'm so excited to be here, per usual, politics as usual, but I'm feeling real good because I just got the shower. But y'all allowed me to take my shower, mind my business, and get dressed, and even take a little bit of nopsy nopsy to talk about the things that we were talking about while i was in the shower and so here we are right uh yeah um i, I think the time well not i think the title of this video is going to be called exhortation right and so our album was just talking to me about encouraging empowering confidence all of these things as i was showering and just allowing me to reflect and just hear his voice and meditate on the things in which he was saying to me and the examples in which he was giving me hallelujah and so i want to share a few of those things that the spirit allows me to share with us you me us together we um and so yes let's get into it first and foremost yeah, it's complete, okay, in full, without lack of any good thing. And those of us made in his image are what? Complete and full and lacking no good thing, okay? And I just want to make sure, hallelujah, thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to make sure that you know that because y'all made sure that I knew it when I was in a shower. Lacking no good thing, okay? And, um... He was speaking to me about just some conversations that I had had with him, even with making these videos, right? And just as as he's bringing me to a different place, my, 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 even in the physical of what Yah is doing. And so I was just like, Abba, you already know, like, I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. Like, I haven't really been feeling myself for like the past two years. Me coming up here and making these videos is really a testament to my obedience and my love for the one who created me and my surrender and my submission to him over everything, okay? Nothing matters to me more than my Abba, nothing. No one, no thing matters more to me than Yahuwah Zevaot, okay? Yahuwah of hosts, Yahuwah of legions, nothing. No one can compare. And I'm willing to do any and everything for him. Okay? Even, oh, oh but I'm getting emotional because I love you so much. <laughs> even if it means being ridiculed, even if it means being isolated, even if it means being embarrassed, even if it means lacking confidence, all of these things which it has done. I have felt isolated. I have been embarrassed. I have been ridiculed and betrayed. You know what I mean? All of these things for the sake of my Abba. And me coming up here in the midst of that, right? And and moving in obedience. Wanting more for my siblings, right? And and trusting Yah through it all, like Abba. When I when I say your will be done, I mean it. When I say if you never do another thing, then you still have praises and worship from me from this vessel. Use it as you see fit. I mean it. Like I mean that with my life. And I was talking to our Abba, and I was just like Abba, you know I don't even be trying to go make these videos. My eyebrows not done. My hair isn't done. My skin isn't how. Ooh. isn't how I would like it to look like I just be having all types of confidence type things going on and I don't even be sharing personal things like this because and this is funny because this goes into a point right one of my points is my own insecurities and how none of my experiences add up to me to me more to me than my Abba 
um I don't share a lot of personal things because I never want anyone to identify with my trials or my triumphs. I don't ever want you to do that. I don't ever want you to see yourself in me. See ya in yourself. When you hear my voice, I want you to hear my Abba's voice. When you see me, I want you to see him. When you hear me, I, that's like, that's that. Not me, which is why I probably, I don't even think I've came up here and even said my name. Because that's not important to me. I am a vessel. What do you do with vessels? You use them. I'm a tool, an extension of my Abba's hand. And so, thank you, Abba, for using me. And that's one of my points. Abba, you just is so amazing. The usage of me, right? Yah's usage of me, which I am grateful and thankful of. So that's why I don't share things. I don't come up here and say, and I did this, and I said that, and I felt like this, and we... Because I don't want you to identify with that. Identify with our Abba's word. Identify with our Abba's presence. Uh, identify with our Abba's promises, his truth, his His requests, right? The responsibility of a relationship, communion, this covenant that we have with our Abba is for real. This brick that we have with our Abba is for real. And so that's why I don't come up here and share. But as I was thinking about this, it's important because I want you to know that no matter what, do what y'all says. It's not about how you feel. It's not about how comfortable you are. It's not about your experience. It's not about any of that. And I was telling her, I was like, oh, you know, for real, for real, like, I don't even be trying to move like that. Like, I don't feel as cute <laughs> as I once did because of the stripping that has had to happen in order for me to get to this place. And I promise you, as long as my Abba is who he is, if I could get him, I would do it all over again. I would endure whatever, however, as long if if the destination is him, if the prize is him, if the reward is him, I'm willing to do whatever. Strip me, take me, whatever is required for me to get him. And I have him. And I'm grateful. Yeah, I might not feel as cute. Yeah, I might can find, you know what I mean, insecurities and pinpoint all of these things. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's amazing. And he is. Yeah, it's amazing. And so I feel like I find that to be, thank you, Holy Spirit, very important to articulate, reiterate, drive home, emphasize. Yah is the prize. You know what I mean? The internet will have you feeling like you the prize. I'm the prize. You're nothing. <laughs> Yah is the prize. And... It doesn't get any better than that. That's that's the best. Yo, with Yah setting the standard, getting Yah, having a relationship with him, him choosing you to move, like him choosing you to, come on, Holy Spirit, I heard you say that word, move. Hallelujah. Him choosing you to move through, <laughs> him choosing you to speak through, him choosing you to hug, him choosing you to encourage, him using you to bring knowledge and wisdom and understanding and purpose and to cultivate these things. Bro, that is amazing. The things in which Yah has allowed me to do has been wild. The people that he has allowed me to impact has been wild. Be the, not, I'm talking about beyond the internet in f face to face. Panayim, Panayim, like face to face, I've been able to witness with my own eyes that in which Yah has allowed me to do in the lives of other people. And it has been a blessing. How could I not choose this walk? How could I not be excited? How can I not be certain, secure, sure? How? Oh, come on, help me, Holy Spirit. Make it plain and clear. How could I not choose Yah? 
How could I not prioritize him? Stamped. Okay? Validated. In him. By him. With him. I get to walk with Yah. That is wild. Not only did he call me, he chose me. And gave me the ability to answer. Because he calling out to a lot of people. But some of us be like, I heard and turned around and went back to the voice in which was calling me. Clash your mighty Abba, you going off. I said, I heard the call and went back to the voice in which called me. All right. Let y'all use you. Let our Abba use you. Don't be afraid. Don't, don't let, okay, Holy Spirit, the limitations of your mind Hold you back from doing that in which Yah has called you to do. Don't let the fact that you want braces keep you from smiling. Don't let the fact that your skin isn't looking how you want it to look keep you from showing up. Don't let if you don't like how your voice sound or stop you from singing if Yah has called you to sing. Don't let, um, come on Abba, what you want me to say? Your hair keep you. It is what it is. It is what it is. Take me as I am. Because I am my daughter. I'm my daughter. I am my Abba's daughter. And if he's sending me, he's sending me in all of his greatness. He's sending me in all of his glory. I might not feel like it. That's neither here nor there. But what did he say? Queen of Sheba could never. All right. Hmm. Cleopatra could never. <laughs> all right. I'm going off my bad. But no, being for real, like, find you in him. Come on, find you in him. There's all, we're, we're always going to find, because that's what this world does, try to pick us apart so that we spend more time feeling sorry for ourselves than we do feeling great in our album. Yeah, you can find some, yeah, I like to nip and tuck a little bit here, lift there, I don't know. I know people who are short who want to be tall. I know people who are tall who want to be short. I know people who are brown skin who want to be light skin. I know people who are dark skin who want to be brown. I know people who are brown who want to be dark People who got who have curly hair wish they had straight hair. People with straight hair wish they had curly hair. Wish it was long. Wish it was short. We spend more time wishing that we weren't. Come on, Abba, yeah. Then glorifying Yah for what we are, and that's His, His chosen elect, His royal priesthood, His select. Few, do you understand? Select few. It is not a bunch of us. We are a select few, a chosen people, a royal priesthood. Sons and daughters of the king, not a king, the king. The one who built all of this. The, the one whose hand holds all of this together is my daddy. Whole time. Whole time. Whole time, that's my daddy. And I'm not just talking, you know how people be like, oh, Father God. Nah, really, real talk though, that's my Abba. I'm really his child. I'm his whole daughter out here doing his work as he sees fit. And even when I stumble and feel like I made the wrong step, he'd be like, that's what's up, baby girl. You on right track. But I thought I could, you did keep going like I told you to go though. I wish I could have. Yeah, you could have, but keep going like. Another point, the importance of not re-raising ourselves through our children. Y'all was talking to me about this in the shower a lot of times, you know what I mean? And I know that um, there is a, oh, it didn't mean any harm, no ill will, no ill intent. But our people perish from lack of knowledge. From, from just, okay, it's time out for, oh, we didn't mean to. It's time out for, oh, we didn't know. It's time out for, oh, I didn't mean any harm. All of that, you used to do that when you were little. I remember when, first of all, 
We are raising children of righteousness. We are raising children according to Torah. We are raising children according to the word of Yah. It's time out for what I did when I was little. Okay? Okay, grandmoms. Okay, granddads. Okay, okay aunties. Okay, uncles, cousins. If he did it when he was little and it got him to where he got to, and in a manner that didn't glorify our Abba, we're going to nip it in the bud with our children. Now, all of that foolishness, walking around the mountain and around and around and around, oh, this generation is crossing the Jordan. We are crossing Jordan. So no more, ah, don't, let them slide. It's okay, you used to do it, mm-mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Used to was the rooster to the hand came around. We about to nip this in the bud today. Stop doing that. Yeah, you gotta clean your room. Yeah, you gotta exercise. Yeah, you gotta eat right. Yeah, you gotta go to bed and get rest. Yeah, you gotta stop talking to them. Yeah, you can't go around there. Yeah, they wearing that, but you can't. Yeah, they listening to that, but you can't. Yeah, they singing that, but you can't. Yeah, they posting that, but you can't. Yeah, they saying it. You did the same thing when you was little. Well, that was you and what you chose to raise. That's not what I'm doing. That's not what I have been called to. That's not what I'm responsible for. I have been called to a higher calling. And so has my seed. And all that generational frivolousness that we were doing when you were raising me or when my grandma was raising me or when my granddad was raising me or when my auntie was raising whomever. It's over because Yah said it's time to cross the Yarden River. And so I have to take my seed this way. That generation had to die. Why? Okay. So what, what else we need to talk about? Abba? We got to say, oh, um, a spirit of uprightness. So I was walking around the track today. And I noticed that I was kind of leaning forward with my body. And y'all was talking to me about like being in a rush and you know what I mean? Uh, just things, right? And I noticed, I was like, hold up. I've never had bad posture. I don't hunch. You know what I mean? And I've even had compliments on my posture before growing up, yada, 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 yada. But as I was walking today, I was thinking about like, I was like, hold up, I'm leaning forward. And y'all was talking to me about uprightness. Walk like you know who you belong to. Hold your head like you know who you belong to. Use words like you know who you belong to. Think and act like you know who you belong to. Stand up straight. You're not in a rush. You're on Yah's timing. Yah's timing is perfect. Speak up. You don't have to be afraid about not knowing what to say or how to say. If Yah told you to speak it, thus it will come as he said. Hold your head up. You don't have to lack confidence. They don't have to like you. They don't have to approve of you. Yah approves of you. Yah loves you. Yeah, your hair might not be how you want it to be. Keep talking to your Abba about that. Either he's going to fix it or he's going to fix your side of it. Either way, it's going to be perfect. You might not like your clothes. I get that. That's okay, though. Y'all can handle all of that, and he will. He says he knows your needs before you even ask. Okay? But seek first his kingdom. Show y'all that you're serious about him. Show y'all that you're committed to him. Show y'all that it's not a roller coaster relationship back and forth. Because, see, a lot of people get in relationships, and they don't, they don't understand. That there's no communication. It's just, ooh, I like you, and you like me, so now we together. But I don't know what you're about. I don't know your goals. I don't know your aspirations. I don't know how you act when you get mad. I don't know what makes you excited about life. I don't know how to love you. I don't know if you love yourself. What's your love language? Right? And even then, with that, people are confused when it talks about love language. Do you know what y'all's love language is? His word. Bust, blew your mind. What you thought I was going to say? What you thought I was going to say? His word is his love language. Do you read it? 
Do you internalize it? Do you have you read through how it? And he's telling, eat this word, eat this word, eat this word, eat this word, eat this word. Don't let this word apart from you. Keep it in front of your eyes. Write it on your heart. Put it on your doors. Teach your children. Speak of it night and day. Sing songs of it. Meditate on it. Speak to yourself according to my word. Think on my word. Meditate on my word. But we get into relationships and we don't with complete strangers. It is people married to complete strangers. You have given birth to complete. You don't know your children. You don't know yourself. You don't know your spouse. You just finding out your mom and dad and that who you thought they were. Take time. Take time with y'all. Ask questions. Religion has has binded up minds like you not to. You better not ask. You better ask. <laughs> you better. You better get to know him. You better take time with him. How are you going to worship what you don't know? How are you going to speak what you don't understand? How are you going to live according to laws and statutes and commands and, and love that you don't even know anything about? You better ask some questions or you better get in that word. I feel like Iov, Job was the guy. He didn't sit around and let people dictate and tell him what he's supposed to do and who he's supposed to be and what he had going on. He said, I'm going to the one who I'm going straight. Which, what the people say? I'm going straight to the horse's mouth. I don't understand. Well, like, why are you in front of the horse's mouth? But what else? I'm going, to, I'm going to the origin. Get to the origin of a thing. I, I want to know why this, this, and this, and this, and this. And if it's not for me to know, help me to understand what I am to know. How do I please you? How do I love you? And I told you before, it's in his word. You don't want to take the time to read God's word because you don't want to take the time to have a relationship with him because you don't want to take time to have a relationship with anybody. You just want what you want and you want it now. And in your mind, that's how the world is supposed to revolve. Yeah, that's how the world, but it doesn't. This world does not revolve around anyone. This is our Abba's world. You can say it's a man's world if you want to, but this world belongs to my Abba. Even the evil things bow down to my Abba. Even the wicked has to have permission from my Abba. So everything in this earth is his, not yours. You need to get to know him so that you can get to know yourself, so that you can get to know the people around you and make some decisions. Because there's some people around you that don't even need to be around you. And don't spill me that, well, that's my wife and that's my husband. And you still got to get rid of them. And, and you want to quote me verses about divorce. And you want to quote me verses about uh, all of this relationship stuff. But what did y'all say about you? Because if you read Nehemiah, it's a whole name. The whole nation had to divorce their wives and send away their children. But that's neither here nor there. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying kick your wife out. I'm saying know who Yah is so you can know who you are. I didn't even know we was going here, Abba, but okay. So that you can know who you are. Okay? So that you can fully see and understand what is going on around you. What needs to be eliminated and what needs to be cultivated. The difference between the two lies in your discernment and your understanding of what y'all is saying okay i'll put well then i guess that's what we're doing your children too your children too because just because they came from your womb don't mean that they are your children these are my brothers these are my mother these are my sisters what you show she said why because these are the people who are walking according to how yah has called them to walk anything outside of that has no attachment to me i don't care how close it is it must flee get thee behind me hasatan not because he thought it was kifa wasn't it what's the holy spirit it was peter right yeah and peter was his his, his man yeah it wasn't because oh peter you you are moving at, as an adversary, you are moving against that which Yah says is true. You are an opposing force to that which is according to the will of my Abba. Therefore, get behind me, Hasatan. Why? Because you are moving against Yah. And if you are against Yah, I can't. How can two walk together unless they be agreed? Okay, so I think that's it. I'm happy to be here. I'm glad we got to spend time. It's 
been a little while. Granted, I posted a video last night, but prior to that, it's been a little while. I have to go kick it now <clears throat> with my loved one. The one that I love the most after Yahoo, my daughter, who very, whose very life keeps me at the feet of our Abba in a good way. I'm so amazed and so blessed and so honored and so in awe that Yah chose this womb to bring forth that seed and to watch it do that in which Yah has called it to do is mind blowing so yeah i'm about to go kick it with her because that's my shouting <laughs> all right i love y'all man in real life in real life oh my gosh i wish i could express it in a way that it, it just hit different but i can't because i'm only human but in real life i love the people of my album okay i love us. i love me some us even them people too them I can't stand their ways, but I love the presence of our Abba upon their being, you know? Granted, you might have chosen wickedness. You might have chosen to be against our Abba, but he raises the sun and allows the rain to fall on all, each and one, every one of us. You know what I mean? And so, and I understand that with a different understanding now. And yes, it's difficult to walk in that every moment of every day, but nonetheless, remind yourself, you know what I mean? That this is Yah's choosing. This is Yah's doing. I'm just passing through, as I hear my grandmother used to say all the time. And so I'm here to do my job. And a part of my job is to love on you. I can hate the sin, but I can love on you. And even if that love is required to be at a distance, you know what I mean? Because that's important, too. Sometimes people feel obligated to love closely. You don't have to love closely. That separation does not mean that you don't love that separation means that you do. Because in order for me to love you the way that you need to be loved in this thing, I need to distance, my, distance myself. And in order to love me like I need to love me, I need to distance myself. Okay? Well, hallelujah. May the most I bless you and keep you and all connected to you. May your children's 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 be blessed and rise up and, cause the, and call the most high blessed. Right? Because of that in which you have done, which you have taught, the foundation in which you have laid. Because you crossed over the yard and may they live in the promised land, okay? Flowing with milk, honey, honey, and pomegranates. Come on, I'm a blessed people then. May y'all be fruitful in every good deed and every tov work according to the will of our Abba, okay? In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, may you rise up and call yourself blessed because you are walking on a straight and narrow path towards him. Mm. Go off then, Abba. Hallelujah. I may see you next time.